Well, some big news for downtown Spokane. The Pacific Northwest Qualifier coming back this year. The volleyball tournament is usually the city's largest tourism event. Of course, it had to be canceled last year, like many of Spokane's traditions in big events. As Ian Smay reports tonight, the event's return, though, is a sign of hope for local businesses. Uh, one, one word, hooray. It's here. It's coming. We're so excited. It's been rescheduled from March to May, and we're just, we, we can't begin to say how happy we are that it's, it's coming back to Spokane. The Pacific Northwest Qualifier is back in Spokane next weekend. As the region's largest volleyball tournament, it also represents the city's biggest tourism event. Visit Spokane estimates that during a normal year, the tournament brings in $12 million, more than 15,000 visitors, and results in hotels seeing 15,750 room nights, which is a count of how many rooms are occupied for how many nights. Even with organizers saying that a little less than half the normal number of teams are taking part this year, it's a welcome sight for the hospitality industry. Uh, we're actually quite relieved that we didn't get rolled back into phase two uh, because we were really looking forward to the PNQ and the financial impact that it'll make. Even if it's smaller than it is in normal years, um, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> so it's, it's great news. It's been a tough year for Spokane hotels, restaurants, and other businesses. Major events such as the PNQ, Hoopfest, and Bloomsday have been forced to cancel or go virtual. This has led to millions in lost revenue for local businesses. But with the PNQ returning, there is hope for the industry. I certainly hope this means we're getting back to normal. It's been a long you know, 14 months here. Um, so yeah, this is a very good sign for us. We also hope this is a momentum that will carry us into the summer and into the fall. Also drawing Spokane visitors, Gonzaga is having an in-person graduation ceremony at Meads Union Stadium this Sunday. Between the graduation and the upcoming volleyball tournaments, he says Davenport is hiring to meet the demand. And for the industry as a whole, the hope is that this is just the beginning of Spokane's comeback. We're so happy and relieved that it's happening and that it can happen safely. Um, so we're... We have high hopes for recovery. This is kind of the kickoff of the recovery season for Spokane County. In downtown Spokane, Ian Smay, Krem2 News.